Did you know that your pet turtle has ears? Not only do they have ears, but they also get the craziest ear infections, as you can see here. This redhead slider had a middle ear infection, which caused a big sister abscess to form on its left side. It's that big protrusion coming out of its head. Welcome to the channel, guys. If you're new, welcome back to those of you who've been here before. Today, we're going to talk about how to fix an eye infection or remove an eye abscess from a red head slider, as you can see here. This is a case from a couple of years ago. You can check back the channel for the original video, but I wanted to do a how to do a remake. So if you're looking at this, you're a veterinarian or you're somewhere outside of the access of a veterinarian, and you may have to remove one of these from a turtle to save its life, to help it grow, to, to increase its quality of life. This is how you can do it. Have a listen. If you're a veterinarian, you may consider some form of anesthesia or a sedative. In this case, I use a local block with local anesthetic. Being such a small reptile and an external lesion, I did not see the need for full general anesthesia. Next thing you can do, the skin over the cyst would be very thin, as you can see here. So just using a blade, you sterilize the area, and you use a blade just to open the skin. Then you'll have to maneuver the cyst. Now, although it's an abscess, it forms a really strong cyst. So it feels somewhat like you're taking off a little ball from the side of its face. And the best way to do this is to sort of turn it in a clockwise direction. Or even an anti-clockwise direction but by screwing it you get a deeper part of the root to take out as you can see here i maneuvered it a bit i went to the base i freed up some of that connecting tissue but i wanted to ensure that i got the entire cyst out now the middle air or the internal air goes deep and this can affect not just balance if you're a walking animal but in these turtles it affected the growth of this animal couldn't feed as it wanted to didn't go right so you can see here i just screwed it off a little bit it's a perfect ball you can see the root and you cannot see too much from this video but if you look down inside of the ears you see the bone structure that's there this is another part too where you can do one of two things i chose to clean it out really good with an antiseptic that i had a good wash and suture it up some people may leave it open to heal what you call by second intention Based on the situation, the owner compliance and the housing facility that the tortoise is the turtle is in, you can make that choice for yourself. If you're gonna leave it open though, I'd recommend that you treat it with topical on a daily basis and put it on what you call a dry dock. But this one wasn't going on a dry dock, so I sutured it. I did give him some antibiotic therapy. It's really small, so be careful what antibiotic you use or what make sure that the tolerance level is good or it's a antibiotic that's recommended for reptiles and small terrapins but yes definitely was really happy with this removal it gave a lot of relief to the animal and before you know it it started growing again before this point with that sister abscess the other tortoise with it its sibling got to five times its size and i did get a follow-up report from the owner after that that its growth spot came back really fast you can see here i'm putting another layer just to proper close it i don't want too much um Reptiles heal very fast, and I don't want to leave a pocket there for water or something to go into cause a second problem because remember it was a middle air infection which is relatively close to the brain. Now I'm using absorbable sutra so I don't have to remove them, but you could use something that you have to remove. And look here, if you look at the unaffected side and the affected side, it's almost the same. The quality of life of this animal increased significantly. I was very happy to be there and sort it out. You see, it looks brand new again. So this is something you can do for yourself if you're a veterinarian. In some places, an owner could do it for themselves. I'm only recommending that if you are legally allowed to do so um, for better quality of life for the animal and relieving the stress. Um, you can see this. If you like this, you can see the original video on the channel. This is a video from maybe three years ago. I'll leave the link below. Um, you can also see it in the cards here coming up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're interested in this or other things and other vet tips, There's loads of video on the channel. Look it up. Thank you for your support. Leave a comment what you think about this removal. What you would have done the same or what you would have done differently. Thank you.